What is this? How's this possible? Tell me, Kawaki. I have no idea. Who is this monster? What should we do now? Concentrate, Boruto! The enemy's right in front of us! Pull yourself together! But... Uncle Sasuke... He's... He's dead! <laughs> what pity beings. You people are developing, building, dreaming, and living your miserable lives, and for what? You train during your very short lives to become stronger, but shinobis are just like ants for me. But you too. I feel Utsutsuki reincarnation in you. You could have become gods, but in the end, you decided to remain miserable mortals who fell at my feet. Uh, you weaklings are thinking that there is something special in death that you can become legend if you die honorable. But I overcame it. Life and death. Heroes and villains. All of this is just garbage that you can calm yourself with. Death on the battlefield means nothing more than pitiful impotence in the face of someone who has embarked on the path of becoming a real god. Look at your friend. What a shame. Let go, Naruto. There is nothing in it anymore. It annoys me. I'll make sure you remember. The day you kill the wrong person. As Orochimaru told me, this is the place where we can get that power. Yes, I've been in the war. Let's enter. There are many masks of the clan Uzumaki. We can get power from that. As you know, Orochimaru gave me a scroll, from which I saw my grandfather's soul in the other world. When I saw my grandfather, we talked, and he explained to me many things about the clan Uzumaki. Can you tell me the whole story? What did your grandfather said? You need to do something about Boruto. Yeah, you're right. What can I do about it? It's my own son. I cannot just kill him. I understand that it's right that as a Okage, I have to protect Konoha. But I just can't do it. You're right. But we have to do something. If I remember correctly, in the Fourth World Ninja War, Fuinjutsu works well on Obito and Madora's powers. I think we can come up with something and seal Momoshiki. I think you're right. That's a great idea. But do we have such powerful Fuinjutsu to take Momoshiki out of Boruto's body and seal him? Of course we do. And our Hokage's clan will help us with that. I used to spend a lot of time when I was younger studying all the possible secrets and forbidden techniques, even though it wasn't entirely legal. And I found the secret sealed scrolls of the Uzumaki clan from back in the days of Hashirama Senju. And of course, Uzumaki's power interested me. I studied all the scrolls and used their knowledge in life. With them, for example, I could resurrect Hokage in the war. Those were good times. Can you get to the point? We can't wait here, and you shouldn't be here at all. Of course, Hokage. I'm only trying to help. This scroll has what you need, but you have to use it alone. It won't work otherwise. I even though you helped in the war, Naruto, Shouldn't you have some insurance first? No, I trust him. After all, he trusted us with Mitsuki. Orochimaru has changed. Who are you? And how did you end up here? My name is Hayabusa Uzumaki. I'm the former head of the Whirlpool Village. I sealed a part of my mind into a scroll before I died. 
and it looks like you used it, like that guy Orochimaru. I don't get it. How's that possible? Our ancestors created a technique by which, before you die, you can seal a part of your personality into a person, or into a scroll, in order to help your descendants. Apparently, you are just like Uzumaki, but not pure-blooded. I can feel it by your chakra. You're right. My mother was from this clan, Kushina Uzumaki. Kushina is your mother? Still, my daughter managed to find her love in Konoha, and even have a family. So, what's your name? I'm Naruto Uzumaki, the seventh Rokage of the Hidden Leaf. But I have a question. How come you gave your own daughter to be a Chinchuriki for Kurama? Those times were totally different, and only my girl could handle Fox. I believed in her till the end, and you know, it's even good that she left because pretty soon our village was attacked and destroyed. Actually, I didn't really understand it myself. Some demons came from the sky. They possessed incredible power and easily destroyed us. Of course, we tried to fight them back, but for some reason no techniques worked on them, except sealing. They could even hide their chakra. Incredible creatures. I see. It's the Otsutsuki clan. Celestial clan. They live in space, but where exactly is unknown. In fact, we know next to nothing about them. They also came to us and tried to take my power, but they failed and ended up putting the soul of one of the monsters into my son's body. My great-grandson is in danger. Something has to be done about it. If I were alive, I could fix it in a minute, but now I'm just a blob of knowledge. So I have to teach you so you can save your son. It will all depend on you. But considering your Uzumaki, you should be able to master your clan's power with ease. As I understand, you don't really know the world of techniques. So my job as your grandfather is to teach you. And this is just the beginning, Naruto. This meeting was necessary. Under this circumstances, we are obliged to make hard decisions. I get that you are all worried about Boruto and his situation, but Konoha will be able to protect- I understand what you want to say, but no. This is too much. You guys are literally covering the bomb inside your village, which could end everyone's lives. I know that the way how Darui express himself is not that good, but he's got a point. The end of this world is coming, and if we don't do anything, we won't win. Are you all crazy? I know that we're in a hard situation, but this is about someone's life. We cannot just kill Boruto. Naruto, are you okay? It's enough. We're asking an action from your side, Naruto. I understand what you're saying, but don't forget that Boruto is my son and the part of this village. I know that Boruto is your son, but your obligations come first. You're a goddamn Rokage. That is right, Darui. Naruto is a Hokage. And it doesn't matter who Boruto is. As long as he's part of this village, we will treat him as we treat anyone from Konoha. And that's why we won't kill him. It looks like you don't get what I mean. Or you want us to demonstrate our power and start a new war. You say war, huh? Let's see how quickly I will end your funny war. I will show you what real power means. Hey, hey, that's too much. So many innocent victims because of one kid? You will taste the power of the four great nations. And don't forget, you don't have your nine tails anymore. So it's about me and Sasuke losing our powers. That's why you suddenly started talking to us like this, huh? And about innocent victims? The only victim is going to be you. Because I will end everything here right now.
lightning style! Black Panther! Dad! What are you doing? Look at him, Sasuke! They think that without our power we cannot win against them. We wanted a peaceful world, but it seemed like they were just scared of us. That's why it seemed like we created peace. But when we lost our power, they turned on us and tried to attack. Now you have seen that even without Kurama or Hinagan, Konoha's power is in the other level. This was just a demonstration that you had to feel and understand. S sorry Naruto. It was my fault. I overreacted. Thank you, Gara. I knew I could always count on you, my friend. <laughs> Demonstration, huh? You're not that fool you used to be. Thank God you didn't start a war for real. Stupid old man scared the shit out of me. Thank God everything ended well. Are you really okay, Naruto? You don't seem well inside. Like I said, it was just a demonstration. Nothing more. But it felt really bad because the things that I did in my entire life turned out to be mostly fake. They were just scared of my power. <laughs> Seems like it's a shinobi problem for more and less generations. And you and I cannot just change it overnight. But I am sure that we can keep doing good things and hope everything will just end well. <laughs> you are more of an optimistic than I ever thought, Sasuke. I hope you're right. I just need to rethink about everything that just happened and come up with a conclusion. Hi, can I come in? Yeah, sure. What was wrong with you, father? What happened in yesterday in the Kage Summit? There's nothing to tell. It was just a little misunderstanding. Now everything's settled. I did... I did what I had to do. It is just... You stopped smiling after becoming Hokage. And now you acted like that. It's like someone is making decisions for you, because you're not like that. What is happening, old man? <sighs> when I was a kid, I always wanted to become Hokage. I was alone, didn't have anyone to help me. So smiling was the only option to run from my problems. I was smiling because I didn't want to cry and become evil. But now when I accomplish my dreams, everyone loves me. They love this version of me, but now, it seems that I don't care anymore. I don't have to smile for others. It's just as I grow up, I understand more how unfair this world really is. How many people just sacrificed themselves. People I love died. And in that office, that feeling just got me for a second. You, now, you are not alone anymore. Maybe people love you because of who you became, but me, my mother, Hima, Sasuke, Kakashi-sensei, and many more people love you of who you truly are. And by the way, mother told me to tell you to see Jiraiya's grave. Maybe you can find some peace there. She said that that person meant so much for you. Pervy Sage, how could... How could you leave me alone and don't be with me when I became Hokage? You're still that noisy little brat I once knew. You're complaining about everything, kid, or should I call you Hokage? Jiraiya-sama, I missed you, pervy sage. Well, I missed you too. And don't forget that I died for something. It was just my destiny to give you the path to become Hokage and change the world. And I can say that you're doing a great job. Well, you are still that dumb kid, but you really care about everyone. And don't let this negative energy to affect you. And it isn't only about me, kid. There are many more people there who died for something precious for them. Including your parents, Itachi, Asuma, Neji, and many more. So don't ever lose control. And think that they trusted you and your generation to do good things. But for me now, it's time to go. Bye, Sensei. Hey, hey, hey! Don't skip yet! In this video, I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic. 
New power of our loved Naruto Uzumaki. It's very sad that we saw how Sasuke and Naruto lost Rinnegan and Kurama. Outside of Kurama being a loyal friend for Naruto, he was a big stream of power for Konoha. After that loss, Konoha doesn't have any opportunity to win against the Tsutsukis and other enemies who will come in the near future. That's why Naruto will need a new power. Boruto is very young for this moment and he can't get huge power which will affect significantly to the strength of the Konoha village, but Naruto is different. Our loved character is famous with getting power up in the most difficult situations and getting unbelievably strong. Like in the 4th Ninja World War, when the situation was getting harder and harder, Naruto met with Hagoromo and got new 6 path power which was very helpful in defeating Kaguya. I think something similar must happen right now in the Boruto series. Naruto fans will love it, but Naruto needs to go through some kind of trauma to be able to activate that power. I think Sasuke's death could be a very big motivator for Naruto to gain new power. Sasuke and Naruto's relationship, friendship. Sasuke and Naruto's friendship can't be described by words. It's so powerful that their bond can go through many kind of limit. The rage and suffering Naruto will feel in that moment when Sasuke dies could be unexpected and unbelievable. In that moment, I think Naruto will do anything to beat anyone against him and he will be able to even sacrifice himself. That will win a lot of time for Boruto and his generation to train and become stronger during many years. This is the first theory, but there can be many more options. For example, Shinigami Mask, which allows you to seal any opponent you're going against. Even very strong beasts like Kurama and take their soul. Imagine, Shinigami Mask is just one of the many masks from Yuzumaki Temple. If Naruto explores it and finds out more secret and power, it could be very helpful for the future fights. Not many people know why the Uzumaki clan was able to use such masks and summon Shinigami from another world. They had special chakra that allowed them to create strong chains with good attack and suppression power. We already know that Mito and Kushina sealed Kurama this way. And we also know that in addition to being able to suppress one of the tail beasts as Kurma, the Uzumaki clan also has incredible offensive power. One time, even Karen showed us how she destroyed a wooden statue that even Toby couldn't handle. Each of the members of the Uzumaki clan could summon very powerful Shinigamis. And there are two terrible facts here. Number one, they can reduce hand seals to simple masks that can manipulate and enslave gods such as Death God to fulfill their demands. Isn't that scary enough? And second, they gave away all those masks as a gift to Konoha. They didn't even care how these people would use these masks or where they could store them. Also, do you remember when Naruto met Minato in the fight against Pain? That's what happened in my animation, but Naruto met with one of his ancestors during the investigations of masks and his own clan. His ancestors shared power with Naruto and gave him access to Uzumaki's secrets and mysteries. So, what do you think? What's the other ways for Naruto to gain more power? Let me know your opinion in the comment section down below. And if you liked the animation, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for many more. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye!